Hi. In this video, I want to briefly show you how to use the FabFilter Pro 2 sidechain limiting function in the DAW Reaper. This is specific to this DAW because Reaper uses a slightly different way of handling sidechains. However, I've tested it in Cubase and it's very probable to work in other DAWs. You just need to know how to route the channels there. This is the method that I found the most easy to set up. And for this, we just create a new track make this a new folder track that contains all of the stems. Now you can do this in a session with rendered stems that, like I have here or you can also use your mixing session. However, I strongly advise you prior to this process freeze all of the stems that you want to render and also create a new version of the project so you don't mess around with your original project file. As you can see when I play all these stems together they peak way above 0 dBFS. And this is what we don't want. So we want to limit it. However, what we want in the end is that all of these stems summed together will not exceed 0 dBFS. What I'm doing now is I will take this parent folder that contains all of the stem tracks inside and I will duplicate it. So now I have the same mix, the same stems twice in my mix. What I do next is I route the duplicate into the original and into the sidechain channels, so channels 3 and 4. And I will also disable the master send and set all of these stems to solo defeat. So now if I mute this set of stems, you won't hear anything through the master. However, our original parent track will receive this set of stems in its sidechain input or on the channels 3 and 4. What I want to do next is I do insert a FabFilter Pro 2. I will use the VST2 version. I will explain to you why at the end of this video. Here we go. And I will check if everything in the routing is alright, which it is. Channels 3 and 4 are getting into the sidechain input. And I also activate the sidechain input in the display of the Pro L2. Now if I now play the whole mix, you can see it's getting brick wall limited. However, the limiter is not listening to the original stems that it's actually outputting, but rather to the sidechain input. Before we proceed to the rendering process, you might want to check which algorithm you want to use for the rendering. For example, if we listen to the pads right here. You will hear some artifacts coming from the limiting. For the sake of this tutorial, I will simply use the safe because it will um, reduce noise as much as possible and I've made some good experience with it. However, you can just tweak it to your taste and check out if everything works the way you want it to. Unfortunately, what we can't do is just select all of the stems and render them at once because the Pro L2 needs to be on the parent track. But what we can use here is our friend, the render queue. So here is my set of the sidechain limited stems and let's see what happens if I play those together. You can see practically no peak above 0 dBFS. Keep in mind that Reaper's metering, like we see here, is a bit more uh, fine-tuned than at other doors, so um, a plus 0, 0.0 you can probably ignore. Yeah, but all in all, this is a uh, brick wall limited summed stem mix. This is very handy if you have, for example, an interactive music installation where you have to fade in and out stems, but the result must not clip and you're not allowed to use a limiter in the routing process at the end. Stuff like that. Quite handy to use. Now, unfortunately, there are a few limits, as expected by a limiter, <laughs> that are currently preventing me from uh, using this feature in a more versatile way. And 
I have addressed those in a forum thread at the FabFilter forums and I think the guys are aware of at least one of the issues is being addressed at the moment. The first thing is, which I have mentioned at the beginning of the video, the usage of the VST3 version, like here. Now this version has support for up to, I think, 7.1 surround sound, which is great. If you want to limit surround, you can do this. However, unfortunately, due to the way Reaper handles sidechains as extra channels on a track, this means now all of a sudden this instance of the Pro L2 thinks it is a quadraphonic setup limiter. So if I look into the routing matrix, you can see that channels 3 and 4 are routed into quadro 3 and 4. I can circumvent this by um, just routing them manually into the sidechain. Oops. However, well, it is not a true stereo limiter right now, and you might want to uh, be careful if you use how you use the stereo linking. And also, if I want to use this, let's say, sidechain limit surround stems, for whatever reason, it can happen. Uh, now this is getting a bit messy. Um, I need the precise number of inputs, okay. If I want to have, this is 7.0. Now I am like in 5.1, 7.0. I want to have 7.1 set up. Can I get it? Uh, no, 5.1. Come on, I can do this. There we go. I need to set it up for 40 inputs, so that is 8 times, 8 channels times 5. For whatever reason, yeah, it is um, not really easy to get the amount of channels that you want for the sidechain limiting. But this is the issue where FabFilter are in touch with the developers of Reaper, and this is a Reaper-specific issue. This won't uh, be an issue for you if you use another digital audio workstation, so good for you if you don't. But as I said, the devs are in touch with the Reaper guys and hopefully will find a solution sometime in the future to prevent this. Another issue that I've stumbled upon was if you use another style than the safe style right here, it is then not possible to increase the gain slider. Well, I'm obviously overdoing this for demonstration purposes right now. But if you're using, let's say, the transparent style, you will get massive clips. In each track that you're trying to sidechain limit. If you listen to the full mix, however, the limiting process will work. Now, I don't know how much you want to increase the gain of the stems that you're sidechain limiting, and if you want to use any other style than the safe style, but maybe this is something that the FabFilter guys should be aware of and hopefully will address in the near future. The same goes if I fiddle around in the input faders down here and for example let's for demonstration purposes put the drums all up to plus 12. Now again if I listen to the full mix everything works in the limiting process as we can see here. However as soon as I solo the drums which are increased in gain the clipping will start again if I'm not in the... Oh no, even when I am in the safe mode. These are a few problems that are still existent in the sidechain limiting process and I hope that FabFilter will address those in the near future. Nonetheless, I find this feature extremely useful and I'm looking forward to using it even more and hopefully using it much much more once these problems are out of the world. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope that you understood a bit of the sidechain limiting process. If you have any questions left, you can leave a comment below the video or contact FabFilter directly through their forums. They're quite active. That being said, I wish you all much fun with your FabFilter Pro L2 plugin and I wish you happy limiting. Goodbye.